Hi everyone, my name is Max Turgeon. I'm an assistant professor in statistics and computer science at the University of Manitoba. And the title of my talk today is Arbitrary Precision Linear Algebra in R using RCPP Eigen and BH, which are two R packages. So I, I want to talk a little bit about the motivation for uh, doing arbitrary precision linear algebra. But first of all, I want to talk about what I mean uh, by arbitrary precision. And so maybe the best starting point is to talk about floating point arithmetic, which is uh, how computers um, hold a finite amount of precision uh, when they do computations. And they achieve this by using a form of scientific notation in, in binary, essentially. And it's very important to understand um, this is a phenomenon because it can lead to counterintuitive results. So one example here is if I try to test whether point 0.1 plus point 0.2 is equal to point 0.3, uh, I get that the result is false. And the reason for this is that um, these numbers have uh, a non-terminating um, ex uh, expansion in binary, and this is why there's uh, inherently some rounding error that happens. And this is also why you should really use all.equal uh, when testing for this sort of thing, because the function all.equal accounts for rounding errors and precision. And so uh, arbitrary precision is uh, when you want to or when you need more precision than what floating point arithmetic um, allows us to do. And this can be useful when, for example, dealing with very large numbers, which can be the case in cryptography. Uh, but it's inherently slower because uh, instead of performing the, uh, the arithmetic using uh, machine instructions and the CPU, it uses a software, uh, which is inherently slower. And I want to point out that um, how even though arbitrary precision uh, seems natural in, in most cases when we want to perform computations, um, whenever possible, we should really try to use more accurate fixed precision algorithm instead. Um, and there's a, a, many, many people have written about tricks for developing a more accurate algorithms. So I won't go on into this. And the example where I've encountered the, the need for arbitrary precision is when looking at the distribution of lar the largest eigenvalue of Wishart matrices. And so a Wishart matrix W, uh, we say that it follows a Wishart distribution in P dimensions, degrees of freedom equal to N and covariance matrix equal to sigma. If we can write W as X transpose times X, uh, where x is an n by p matrix, and each row of x follows a multivariate normal in p dimensions, mean equal to zero, and covariance equal to sigma. This is a, a very famous distribution in multivariate analysis uh, because it's related to covariance matrices, as you can probably guess. And so knowing the distribution of the eigenvalues is of importance uh, in some applications. And it's been a a very hard problem in general, but in 2014, in uh, the Journal of Multivariate Analysis, Kiani gave an, an exact algorithm for computing the CDF of the largest eigenvalue of a Wishart matrix. And uh, in, the, in the paper, the algorithm that he gave, uh, the first step is to construct a skew-symmetric matrix A, and the dimension of A is going to be related to the minimum value of N and P. So you can see how the matrix, the size of the matrix is going to grow as both N and P grow. And then the second step is to compute the determinant of A and take the square root. And the third uh, step is to divide this determinant by a normalizing constant. And this matrix A is going to depend on uh, the value at which we want to compute the CDF. So the problem that arises with Kiani's algorithm, even though it's exact, uh, is that for when n and p are both large, it turns out that both the determinant and the normalizing constant are also very large. And so you end up dividing two large numbers uh, with one another. And this can lead to inaccuracies. And th so this was the motivation for me to look at ways to do um, arbitrary precision linear algebra. 
because in the paper, Kiani says that he implemented his algorithm in Mathematica um, directly, but when you try to do the same in R, you see how um, you, you, get, you run into a numerical accuracy problems. And so the solution I came up with uh, is based on using uh, two packages that, um, that are built onto RCPP. Uh, but first of all, I want to talk about existing R packages that do uh, arbitrary precision arithmetic in R. Uh, so th there's several packages actually, but uh, so they come in different varieties, but I want to highlight a few of those options. So two examples of these are the GMP and the RMPFR packages. And what they do is that they provide R functions that um, allow users to call directly the C or C++ libraries that do multi-precision or arbitrary precision arithmetic. Um, another example that I've seen is the R Yakas uh, package. And the way that it allows uh, arbitrary precision arithmetic is by creating an interface with uh, a computer algebra system called Yakas. Um, and so those are s several options that you can use, but they were not quite as flex uh, quite flexible enough to do what I want to do, uh, which was to do linear algebra um, with arbitrary precision. <clears throat> and so the two packages I ended up using are BH and RCPP Eigen. Uh, they, both, they both are part of the RCPP package family. Um, and the first one, BH, um, is an interface to the boost uh, C++ libraries for R users and R package developers. And so if I just read um, what is written in the documentation for the, boot, uh, the BH package, it says this boost provides free peer-reviewed portable C++ source libraries. And so BH allows R users to work with these uh, libraries. Uh, that cover a wide array of applications, but in particular, it also provides um, access to a multi-precision library. And so in the code snippet that I give here, what I'm doing is uh, including the, the header files for multi-precision or arbitrary precision arithmetic. And I'm, uh, what I'm doing is actually creating a new data type or a new um, arithmetic type um, using the using type def and I'm calling it MP float, which would represent sort of a hundred digit precision number. So this is the, how you can do uh, how we can use the BH package to do arbitrary precision arithmetic in general. Um, and then it becomes very powerful when you combine it with the RCPP eigen package. And so again, reading from the documentation, it says Eigen is a C++ template library for linear algebra. And what this means is that uh, you can use this library and use the same function, but you can also um, use it with user-defined types. And so templates mean that you can do linear algebra with those user-defined types. And so in the code snippet here, I give an example of creating a 100 by one uh, matrix that uses the arbitrary precision type that we defined on the previous slide. So it's really a column vector. And then I can compute the dot product uh, of this uh, column vector with itself. And this now is a arbitrary precision um, um, number. And so you can see how the two packages together interface and, and play nice with each other and allows us to do uh, arbitrary precision linear algebra. I implemented this solution in the package called root wishart, um, which computes this distribution using the, the algorithm from Kiani. And I just want to give you a quick comparison of what happens when you try to implement it using fixed precision. And this is what you get. So here I have n is equal to 25 and p is equal to 15. So this is a very realistic uh, example. It doesn't have to be very high dimensional. Um, but you can see now that if I try to compute the CDF uh, over the range between 0 and 100, we don't get um, a monotonic increasing function. We see some places the, the line is skipped. And also we see sort of a lack of precision near 80 to 100. And so this, this clearly shows that the naive implementation in R doesn't work. 
So what happens when we try to do the same computation but using arbitrary precision, we can see now that we get a smooth curve, uh, no kinks, no missing values, and it's monotonically increasing just as expected. And so to conclude, um, the main message here is that the combination of the BH and RCPP eigen packages provides a lot of flexibility to do uh, linear algebra um, and, and using arbitrary precision and all of the other libraries in BH. Uh, the cost, of course, of this flexibility is that you get slower algorithms, which is inherent to uh, arbitrary precision arithmetic, uh, but also um, the user needs to code in C++, right? So the, the advantage of some of the other packages that I mentioned, like GMP. Um, Kiani actually has a second paper where he proposes a similar algorithm, but for double Wishart problems, uh, which arise when you talk about uh, multivariate ANOVA or um, canonical correlation analysis. And I also implemented the same algorithm in the root Wishart package. Uh, but just to finish, I want to point out once again that as a general rule, uh, more precise algorithms with better numerical accuracy uh, will always be better than arbitrary precision, um, just because they're going to be faster.